What's going on everyone? I hope everyone is well and welcome to episode 2 of me trying to get to my dream card for Celebi EX Play promo in Japanese. I won that card in PSA 10 so much and I'm making a series where I try and start with a base and try and work my way up by grading cards to be able to eventually afford the Celebi EX play promo for my personal collection. Uh, so this is episode 2, I recommend going to ep watch episode 1 and uh, yeah let's get into this. So as you know I read around about £280 more give or take a few pounds and um, because I haven't sold everything yet um, but I want to make this video because obviously I don't want to miss the, the deadline for the next grading company I'm going to be using. Uh, so the next grading company I'm going to be using is CGC. I put their logo on the screen here, if, and they grade uh, <coughs> mainly comics, uh, but as well as cards as well. Um, so I decided to go with CGC this time because I believe them to be probably third in the rankings of grading wise, uh, where PSA and Beckett kind of are out of the top, you know, two spots. And I would say CGC are pretty good well-known company um, and their sales on their cards kind of prove that they do add value to the card um, so yeah I bought a few cards I've got a bit more variety this time um, in what we're submitting so uh, let's get into this um, so um, let's get into the first card um, so I will see you in a second okay let's get into card one here we have got the Mew VMAX Rainbow Rare from Fusion Strike, number 268, out of number 264. Secret Rare, and just check out that Rainbow Rare. Absolutely stunning. As you know, I don't normally collect modern, but this card, I just saw at a really good price. I paid 50 pounds for this, all in, including postage and fees. I just thought it was such a good deal. We're sending this into CGC. We're hoping for the 9.5, the surface is really just perfect on this card. I don't see anything on the surface. It's just, you know, it is pack fresh and, you know, you, you do miss and hit and miss on pack fresh cards. Sometimes they come out, you know, perfect. Sometimes they come out and they can be off center with things on them or dents or even bent corners um, or d damaged edges. But this card, nothing like that. It's really good condition wise. Uh, centering is off from top to bottom as you can probably tell just from the border down here is quite small um, so I do think that will slightly hurt the card in the grading aspect we will see because of the CGC we are getting subgrades as I mentioned at the start but we just check out the back of this card it is you know pretty much perfect you don't see anything on it it is definitely off center slightly I think from the top to the bottom and slightly left to right but it's not too bad left to right. I think it's, you know, within the parameters perhaps. But we will see. It probably will grade a 9 center in. That's my guess. And I'm not too sure about the other two. Because, you know, in regards to the surface, surface edges and corners with this card. Just because it's such tight margins. Um, and obviously I've never graded with CGC before. So, yeah, this can be a first one of the first cards we ever send to CGC. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the uh, second card here. Okay, second card, we have got the Rocket Articuno EX from the Silver Deck Kit in Japanese, first edition. You can see the stamp down here on the bottom left. And uh, yeah, just check out this card. This card is a stunning card. It has a glitter effect across the whole card, which is uh, also seen on the Shining Mew, if you know that card, a very uh, wanted uh, card. But this one also shares the same glitter effect as well as the holographic we're just going to check out the hollow here just unbelievable hollow Whew. that is absolutely stunning and yeah this card um you know it is in pretty much near mint condition now this one does have a few issues so as we can see up here it definitely has a whitening on the borders up here um, which I do think would drag the card down quite a lot up here. I do think the edges will score low because of that. Um, however, pretty much the rest of the card is pretty decent. It does have some whitening, as I said. And maybe this corner down here is slightly whitened as well. 
but the actual surface of this card is actually really clean. It has no scratching on the front. The front is actually very clean. I did notice like one little thing on the card. I think it's just about there. You can just see it. I think it's on the actual card. It's not on the sleeve there. I did pull this card out of the sleeve obviously and check it out. Um, and obviously the, the whitening on the back here, I think we'll drag the card down. Hoping for the CGC 8 on this card. Um, you know, obviously it's not the highest. You're not going to get a 9.5 on this one. Um, but I'm going for the 8, maybe an 8.5, depending on the edges, you know, whether they get an 8, which I do predict. The centering is really good on this card, um, back and front, you know, the, the surface is clean, you know, except for the, the little dot on the card just over here, um, and the back, I think it does have potentially, like, just some, some slight, very small scuffing, but it's very, very small. So, uh, yeah, hoping for the 8 on this card. Let's get into the third card. Okay, the fourth card. It's another stunning Rockets card. Rockets Moltres EX from the Black Deck Kit in Japanese. Uh, again, first edition, you see down here on the stamp. And again, it has that glitter effect across the whole card. Let me know which ones, you know, you prefer. The Moltres or the Articuno, but let's just have a little up close and personal with this uh with this Moltres artwork wow with the northern lights oh my god it's just stunning i could look at that all day just in different lights it just flows across the card now this one's actually in much better condition than the articuno the surface on the front of this card is stunning no scratching no dings nothing on the surface this the surface on the front is 10 worthy centering again is quite good the top is slightly large but it could probably fit into the parameters maybe a 9.5 on the center and maybe a 9 but if we check out the back here this one does as you can see look a lot better than the articuno um it does have a few bits of whitening across the card um, so again, I'm not expecting a night, you know, a, a, a pristine 10 on this card. Um, but I do hope this may get the 8.5, may get the 9. That's kind of what I'm hoping for at the moment. Let me go know what you guys think, um, for these two stunning cards. And I think I can probably sell these as a set, as they do come in the deck sets. And I think they go quite well together as well. So I bought them both for £50 in a deal before the two of them so they cost me 25 pounds each send them in bulk uh, with subgrades which as i said is going to cost me 23 pounds so i'm looking at about 50 pounds invested into both of these um and we're going to hopefully make a bit of money on them so uh yeah let's get into the third card okay we're down to the last card and i'm just going to take a moment because this card is one of my favorite cards you know ever released in pokemon especially in modern i think this card is stunning and you won't believe this card i'm about to show you it is the umbreon v max alternative art from evolving skies secret rare number 215 out of 203 and i absolutely love this card i think it's one of the most beautiful cards ever created in pokemon i love it it's just unbelievable now this card currently is selling for over 200 pounds plus in the uk and 350 dollars plus in the us as i'm recording this video i'm in on this card for 70 pounds which is about 90 hundred dollars and I mean, you can probably tell already, just by looking at it for a minute, that this centering is absolutely bang on centering. This card, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have left it in the card saver because I genuinely think that this is a special card. Now, I've graded lots of cards in my time. Obviously, I'm still waiting for a lot of them, which are in the PSA backlog. I have never seen a card which I am so sure of getting a high grade. Now, obviously, I've not graded with CGC, so it's hard to actually 
you know predict the grade whereas you know i feel like if you grade with a grading company you can kind of you know start to kind of understand why cards grab certain grades you know that's not to say you know oh, i get a 10 every time i don't get a 10 every time i don't predict 10s every time you know but this card i don't know this card is just in every single way perfect but back on this card this is actually the most perfect back I've ever seen in Pokemon. And I, I've seen some <laughs> some Pokemon card backs in my time. The front is just, I mean, just look at the umbrella. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I'm in £70 for this card. I can't believe I got it for such a good deal, but I did. I bought it in a bundle with a few other cards, and I just sold the other cards, and, you know, when I sold all the other cards, I was only paid £70 for fees and postage as well. So, and believe me, when I got this card, I was, my draw dropped, I was like, oh my god, this card is actually perfect. Grade-wise, again, I, w I wanted to get 9.5. I've never graded with CGC before. But I genuinely think this has a high shot at getting a 10. And dare I say it, I've graded lots of cards in my time with PSA mainly. I think this has a shot, a good shot at a pristine 10, and a possibly a good shot at the perfect 10. So wish me luck, <laughs> wish this Umbreon luck. It's going to CGC, and I'm hoping, for, I'm hoping it gets a 9.5 as base, and I'm saying it has a huge shot at the two tens. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. This is, this would be a, an unbelievable card, and pristine would go for a decent amount. Pristine would almost get me the value of the Celebi EX, along with the other cards, even if they get low grades. You know, just the base, the base of the other cards. You know, that's why I've already only spent £220 of the kind of 280 that I have. Um, I guess the rest of it I would just put towards grading fees. Um, but, yeah, I just got this card and I was like, wow. Like, <laughs> I need to grade this card ASAP. But yeah, that's that card. So let's get into the summary before we uh, grade the cards. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed looking at the cards up close there. This is a summary. So I'm just going to talk about what we're going to be doing with these cards whilst we've got them on the screen here. So the Umbreon and the Mew will be going on the CGC standard submission. That is a 30-day turn, uh, turnaround, roughly. Um, so hopefully I'll get them back uh, roughly maybe end of May or start of June. Obviously, the Umbreon, as we spoke about, I'm really excited for that card. The Mew as well. Hoping to send them off on the X on the standard and get them back sort of end of May. We've got the two EX cards here and the Vestelix, which will be going on the bulk method, which is £23, uh, which is included £8 for subgrades. And the Umbreon and the Mew going to standard will cost me £33 each. So, uh, yeah, that's how much it costs to grade them. Let's get these cards packaged off and sent to CGC. Hope for the great grades, everyone. Come on, let's do this. In the next part of the video will be the grade review. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the future. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We're in the future. We've got our first CGC card back. This is the Umbreon VMAX Alternative Art from Evolving Skies. We sent it express with CGC through Dan's Pokestop. Recommend him highly. Um, and yeah, I do know the grade for this card because I watched it on Dan's live. Um, so the way Dan's work, uh, Dan's Pokestop works is he will show a live stream where unboxing your submission before it's sent. 
and then he'll do a video with, with a grade reveal once it's back as well and then he'll send it out to you. Uh, so this is the Umbreon, I do know what it graded but I want to show you guys obviously for the video uh, so what we got so uh, let's pry this out. Um, so as you know the Umbreon VMAX we bought for £70. So if you guys, oh, just knocked my vape off, it's not good. Um, if you guys know the Umbreon VMAX skyrocketed, it skyrocketed in price because of scarcity. Um, and yeah, um, the price now for a good minty copy is probably borderline £250. So to pick one up for £70 was an absolute steal. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just fight our way through the packaging here. Um, let's try and uh, pry this out without damaging the case. There we are. Very well packaged. Obviously, I did pull it out of box. It wasn't shipped in this uh, in this uh, bubble wrap. But uh, yeah, let's get this open. Let's cut this here. And then we can pull this out, just fighting with the, the bubble wrap there. So, it's always the hardest part is unboxing anything. It's always so, so hard. Pull him out. There we go. And let's put that card there. And we get Dan's details here out of here as well. Uh, so here's Dan's card here. Uh, if you want to check him out, there's me. There's the website. Um, he does CGC, PSA and Beckett submissions. So uh, yeah, let's uh, check this card out. Let's get the uh, dust off it. So this is the Umbreon VMAX Alternate Art. And uh, let's just check this card out. Boom. There it is. Remember this card, everyone? This card we said was absolutely gorgeous. Um, no whitening no print lines S centering was absolutely bang on centering from top to bottom left to right just so good con uh, condition the back was the best back we've ever seen on a pokemon card just check that back out no whitening in the corners no cutting issues centering perfect on the back we thought this card we aimed for the 9.5 and we were hoping for the 10 so yeah i know what grade this is but let's uh let's check this out so good start Edges with a 10. Corners with a 10. Surface with a 10. And the center in got a 9.5 for the gold pristine 10 on the Umbreon VMAX alternative art from Evolving Skies. Huge card huge card in a pristine 10 at CGC. This is the first ever card I submitted through CGC and to get a 10 on your first submission is just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I, I can't I can't fault with it. I mean, obviously the center in, we were at 0.5 off the perfect 10. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh, I, I, when I first saw a card on a live stream, I did think it was a perfect 10 for like a split second, as you do. Um, they got the pristine 10, which is what we, we were hoping for. We said we want the 9.5 and we were aiming for the 10 because we, we really did believe that this card was in pristine condition, which matches the, uh, the word in there. Over the moon with this Umbreon VMAX, let's just check it out one more time. Such a gorgeous card. Such a card, hard card to move on as well. That's the sad thing about it is I will have to sell this card. <laughs> um... Obviously, we are aiming for the Celebi EX, uh, Play Promo and PSA 10. And this is such a massive step towards that goal. Um, I think the value for this is somewhere between six to 700, I would say. I would have to do my research because PSA currently, um, PSA 10 version of this card currently sells around about that much. That's where I kind of got that price point from. Um, but I don't know whether Pristine 10 and CGC sell for more. Um, I'll have to do my research on other cards and find out. Uh, so this is Pop 50 um, at CGC. CGC do not have a do have a Pop report now. Uh, so this is Pop 50. There are seven Perfect 10s and 50 Pristine 10s. And then there's like 
God knows how many 9.5s, so many. It was over like 300, I think, 9.5. So it just shows you how hard it is to grade, um, you know, modern, especially with CGC, who are known as very strict graders. And yeah, I'm so happy and so thrilled with this card. The bolt cards are literally back already. I mean, I got this card today. It came back last Sunday. Um, and I'm about to get my bulk back. So it just shows you how fast CGC are moving as well. So yeah, guys, you'll see me in the bulk in the next part. So I shall see you then in the near future. Cheers. So the cards are back. So uh, yeah, let's get into these. Uh, first up, let's just give a quick shout out again to Dan's Pokestop, uh, CGC, PSA and Beckett. Uh, find them on his website. Um, so yeah, let's get into these. So the first card here, um, Let's have a look at this card. So, this is the Moltres EX. Damn, what a card with a glitter effect going across the card. This one's so unbelievably real. Unreal. Such a pretty card in Japanese. First edition. And yeah, uh, for this card, we did predict the 8 for this card. Um, we thought we just had a bit too much whitening. You can just see a bit of whitening up there, the top edge. And maybe some corner issues down there in the bottom right. And just some general whitening, as you can see there on the left-hand side up over here. So yeah, we did predict the 8 for this card. So uh, we're going to slide the card across and see what we get. Ooh, the edge is 7, yep. 7.5 in the corners, so we did get docked a lot there for the uh, corners and edges. So that's good to know for next time. So, yeah, we better be careful uh, when we uh, submit Japanese cards. Surface, yeah, we thought the surface was really clean, so we got a 9. And 9.5. Oh, we got a 7.5. I guess we got a 7. So, yeah, the 7.5 there on the Moltres EX. Uh, well, Rockets Moltres EX, should I say, sorry. In Japanese there from the Black Deck Kit. Uh, very cool card. Now let's see the other card from the other half deck. It's the Rockets Articuno EX, another insanely pretty card with a glitter effect going across the whole entire card, just like the uh, Shining Mew, Korokoro Mew. This card is unreal. Again, the surface is just so beautiful on this card. First edition, we did think this card was slightly better condition than the Moltres. I think we predicted an 8.5 for this card. It definitely had some more whitening, as you can see there up at the top, and sort of along the edges there, along the right, maybe some corner issues as well. So it wouldn't surprise me if this card got docked with similar to the uh, Moltres. So yeah, let's check this out. Corners, yeah, so, so edges 7.5, yeah, so we are getting docked there for the edges. Can the corners make up? Okay, so at least we can't get a 7. 8.5 on the surface and 9.5 centre in and it's got an 8. So, yeah, 7.5 and 8. Unfortunately, this one just missed out on the uh, the 8 there, the But uh, that's some two cool cards. I'll probably be selling them as a duo. Oops, it's not bang them. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, the cards conditions is it's just so nice. The cases are so cool. Yeah, let's just uh, check out the next card here. So we're going into English Modern with the Mew VMAX Rainbow Wear from Fusion Strike. One of the new sets out. Um, a, a beautiful card. I thought this card was really well condition-wise. Um, center in was really good. I think from top to bottom it may be slightly off. That's one thing we did pick up on. Um, but, and the center in maybe on the back here is slightly off from top to bottom maybe. But the corners, the edges are super clean on this card, obviously, because it's modern. So, uh, man, we just need to stop hitting the cards. Let's put them over here a second. Let's put them over here. There we go. So the Mew VMAX, let's see what we got. So we did think this card was super clean. We predicted the 9.5. We thought this centering was going to let this card down. So, edges, 10. Yep, that's a really good start, a really good start. Oh, corners, 10. Come on, can we can we get a ten? Can we get a ten? Oh, nine point five on the surface. Okay, okay. And on uh, the centre ring, we're going to get docked for, aren't we? Ooh, nine point five. We did predict that on this card. We did predict the nine point five, but we are zero point five off the pristine ten. There, so that's really unlucky, but super cool subgrades there. That's a top. That's a top end nine point five. 
that's the best 9.5 you can buy. That is literally like, yeah, the best 9.5 that you can find. Um, such a beautiful card. That's a really nice card, that one. Wow, 9.5, I'm super happy with that. Let's put that card over here. And last up, we've got the first edition Steelix from Neo Genesis. Uh, a really random card. I don't. I own a uh, Typhlosion, as I said, and that's the only other first edition card I own. This is the uh, only other English first edition card I own. So, uh, yeah, I bought this card. I bought it for a really good price. I thought it was so clean, this card. It was so beautiful. I mean, look at the back on this card for a first edition card. I mean, we just thought it was so cool. Like, what the heck is that surface and everything? Just so beautiful. So, we predicted a 9.5 on this card. We did think it possibly had a chance at getting a pristine 10, but we that was like literally at 0 0.0000001, but there was like a chance. So, let's do this, everyone. Come on, can we get a good grade? Oh! Oh my god, 10 edges on a first edition from Neo Genesis, that's absolutely insane on it by itself. What can we get for the corners? Man, the corners are going to do us, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, oh my god. Woo! It's heating up in there, everyone. 10 on the corners. Oh my god, what can this card be? Ooh, uh, yeah, the surface got an 8.5 there, so the highest we can get is a 9, no matter what the center ring gets. And I pray that the center ring does not get 10, otherwise I'll be very upset. <sighs> wow, what a mint 9 specimen. I mean, if the surface at least got... A 9, I mean, it would have got a 9.5, wouldn't it? So it's literally just been docked by the surface. But, I mean, you can't find a better uh, mint 9 than that, I don't think. So, uh, yeah. What a submission. What a return. Wow, these cards are absolutely insane. Um, yeah. I mean, let's just go into the summary here and just speak about, you know, what, where we're going to be going from here. Okay guys, we've got everything sold, so we're back to the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. As you can see, we've got episode 1 up here, and in the blue, this is episode 2. So let's speak about the pricing and what we what we did, what we made. So, um, to start off with, we actually had a bigger investment into this month than last month. So to split that up, I paid £240 for all the cards in this video so obviously as you can see here i ended up last episode of 263 so um 263 um paid 240 for the cards and then on top of that i invested 150 pounds into grading fees which brought the cost to 390 pounds so just to be clear obviously i did invest an extra 150 this month for grading fees but obviously you will be able to see why i did that so the cards um just go over them again We've got the Umbreon umbreon v max alternative art from evolving skies the steelix first edition and neo genesis so mu v max rainbow wear from fusion strike and last but not least we've got the rockets moltres and articuno ex from the black and silver deck first edition um so we saw the grades uh, this is how much we paid for the cards uh, rule and obviously i've got the fees here so we ended up sending the umbreon via express at 58 pounds and we sent the other four at bulk with subgrades so sorry and this was also including subgrades as well um and as you can see these are the grades as we just saw in the last part and this is how much we sold everything for so as you can see we made 620 pounds sell on the umbreon v max which is absolutely insane um obviously that's such a massive profit alone just on that card i sold that to friend uh, friends and family in paypal um to a trusted buyer 
Um, so I ended up with £620 on the dot, no fees, which is really nice. Everything else sold on eBay, the other four, however, they sold with 80% uh, off variable fees, which meant I only paid 20% fees, as well as I charged extra for postage as well. Um, so that's where I've got these figures here. Um, so if we come across here, um, we can see that we sold everything for a, com a combination of 929 pounds so we made we, we invested 390 and we got back 929 so over a 100 percent profit round on this second episode absolutely insane and in total we made 539 pounds profit in this episode which i don't think i'm gonna top anytime soon that is that is such a massive margin now, um, you know, with the total of sold here of 929, that will mean that we will be able to afford the Umbreon EX Play Promo and PSA 10. Obviously, um, the card I'm looking at is priced around 7 to 800. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to try and get it for the 750 to 800 mark. Therefore, the 150 pound grading fee, I basically just I just get that back. As well as getting the Umbreon, sorry, not the Umbreon, sorry, the Celebi EX Play promo. So, um, yeah, after this episode, guys, I'm going to go away. I'm going to scour the internet. I'm going to throw in offers. Um, if nothing's up there, I'm just going to wait and see what happens to guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, in the next part, you shall see what this is all, you know, I was doing this all for. Um, so yeah, if you can like and subscribe for future content, I uh, hope you have a good day and I shall catch you in the next. Cheers guys.